well, here we are viewers, it's the next day of October and uh, the next month and we're heading on down to the shop because near the shop um, is a field that we can do. We might grab that contract now actually just in case it disappears. Wasn't overly keen on doing more contracts but I see this one here for young Zoe on field 11. I'm going to accept that. Field 11 is just near the shop. We've got a tractor down there and we're taking our sprayer with us because we have a cunning plan which may work if we're lucky. Just went and had a look at a bit of land to consider buying. The only trouble is it's only a small block, it's only I can't remember. 50 grand, under 50 I think, it's down near the animal pens, but the problem with it is uh, it's got sugar beet in it. Sugar beet harvesters are quite expensive to to lease. Yeah, so I think they're 25,000 to lease. So, yeah. That's a lot of money. So I might be better off waiting until... If I owned one, it would be alright. be like half a million to buy. I'm sure we had a tractor down here. We do. So what we're going to do is drop off the tank. And then we're going to go over to field 19, which is just over here, and start our ploughing contract. Oh no, there's a fence around it. Oh no, there's not. Not around the bit we're worried about. Whoops. got a bit of a curve in it this so I'll have to start off with a headland I think you've got to drop it before you lower it beautiful If he was whizzing along. So yeah, you notice that the sky's starting to get a little bit darker now we're getting further along in the year too, so I'm expecting rain soon, next month or so. Did they really whiz along? They all sound like Volkswagens. I'm just going to hit it on auto here and see how he goes. Whiz back to hopefully the tractor in the shop. See, see that going around them horses? It's going to have to go. We're going to sell our stable. We'll buy a smaller, different one. See if that affects it. Or maybe not have horses at all. Now what we're going to do here is... We're going to buy... Uh, pallets liquid fertiliser, 2,000 litres mm, there's no difference between the two so let's buy one of these and I'm hoping where is it? over here I'm hoping when we drive up next to it we can fill this thing up Yeah! <laughs> we've got a little bit left too. That's all good, but 10% complete on the play on field. Oh, look out! Ah, oh! Oh! <clears throat> Sorry about that, mate. 
<coughs> nothing to look at here. Yeah, just ring my insurance. It's uh, the phone number is uh, six eight five 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 four one eight. Well, that's right. We're in the UK, aren't we? We're not in America. Scratch that phone number. Yeah. It's America where all the phone numbers seem to have. I don't know if you don't live in America. Maybe you could put in the comments if it's true or not, but from an Australian's point of view, every telephone number that I've ever seen or every show, TV show I watch, the phone number's always 555. It's like every American phone number in history's got 555 in it. But um, we're, what we're doing here, folks, is we're going to utilise our sprayer, which... Well, it's good to keep these sort of things in reserve, I think, when you when you already own them. We're going to spray our fields. Fertilise them. Here's our way in. Hopefully the guy on the plough still going alright. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable. No, that's not it. How do you open it? Oh, this has got a good spread. I'll take a turn on this one. Oh, it goes again. Look how big it is. Yeah, this is great. Just if it was something that was just sitting around. Is there anything coming out of that? Well, it's going down, so yeah. Can't really see anything. Oh well, doesn't matter. It um, tells me it's working. Or working. This is um, nice and easy. We haven't used too much. Oh yeah, I can see it now against the contrast against the ground. That looks better. Alright, so I'm going to just hit this on auto. That should do that field. And I'm going to run through here to the horse pen. Bet we run into a tree. What do you reckon? Oh no. Great job. And yeah, this is way too big for the amount of horses that you get. So what we're going to do here is we're going to probably take a hit on it, but I'm just going to sell it as is. A little bit of a delay, as usual. Then again, it's probably putting all the stuff in order in there. So we should be able to press that. 62,000, yes, okay. We still got the horses. <laughs> How'd we still end up with a horse? I don't know exactly what to do with this. Like, maybe we'll ride him down to the um, animal pen, I suppose. 20% completion. I thought the horses would go with it. In hindsight, I probably should have um, sold them through the pen, but they weren't coming up in the pen. Once you rode them, the names didn't come up in the pen, so... I don't know if that's something that the map maker needs to look at, but... 
Anyway, it's nice to go for a bit of a ride. I think we can ride across here, can't we? Could keep the horses, but I think they'd eventually starve to death if I... Oh, I suppose I could always, um... I wonder how you go about that. Put in a smaller pen. No, oh, well, we'll see if this works first. Let's one thing at a time. We're already halfway here now. Stop trying to, like, double-guessing ourselves. So here's the fields I was thinking of buying. The one over there is like a, like a spare patch of land. This here. It's not a very big field and it's got sugar beet on it. But it's cheap enough to buy at the moment just to put something on. And then you've got the one next door. Oh, which is even worse. It's got cotton. Cotton harvesters and more to lease. And maybe sugar beet harvesters aren't as dear. We'll look into it. Watch out on the road here. Now I'm thinking if I park this horse here and press this nothing will happen so we're on to our second of our fields and what we're going to do now is before we go down and check on our ploughing I think our ploughing is going okay uh, I'm going to buy that field. I went in to have a look at how much it was to hire a, a beet harvester and I accidentally pressed OK. So we've hired one. So now I've got little choice but to um, to buy that piece of land and go down and harvest it. So let's do it. So I think it was over here. It was number 31. So it's only a small field but select buy 70,000 so it's not really that cheap is it how much is that one 62 and this one is 142 mm. them horses there's no check this out I've got the two horses but when I go to animals there's no horses so I think they're just gonna hang around the farm anyway let's see if we can there's our plow guy he's doing a great job well, she actually is it a he or a she she is sorry darling but she's doing a fantastic job We'll wait till we get down this end and we'll jump off near the near the shop. Matter of fact I can see our um our potato harvester from here. A beet harvester. Come on love, get us up a bit closer. I think I can run faster than this. I can. Straight through the survey. Let's see how his hurdling skills are. Oh yeah, beautiful. Now the one thing we do have to do is hire a front for this so we need to go to the beat technology we got the 271 which is cheaper than most combinations uh, details lease 3000 so it's about 16 to 17 thousand dollars which is you know, ridiculous <laughs> I'm going to try to drive this there. She's a beauty. Okay, so it's a long way. It's a fair way there, viewers. So I'll see you when we get there. These things are so cool to drive with big machines. They're like so nice and quiet and that. It's unbelievable. Check it out. It's a beauty. Oh, here's our stop. Ooh, uh, I don't know which way we should run here, but um, unfold it, lower it, 
Not at all. One thing I know about these is pigs love them, so that machine's a little bit noisy, we might get back a little. I wonder what it's like inside, well it's nice and quiet inside, but it's a bit harder to work out where you're going. You can't sort of lean over <laughs> to line it up. Yeah, if we were to work hard, we could probably um, get this done, get it prepared, and maybe get wheat in it. So we're coming into the winter months soon. September's spring here, so where we are, northern hemisphere, it's the second month of autumn, another month of autumn, and then we'll hit the winter. But if it's anything like here in Australia, the, the third month of autumn will start to chill right down. We've got pretty temperate weather here, but especially where I live on the coast, on the east coast, but um, it doesn't get a real cold, but I've got to think more about England here. I'm expecting it to chill right down next month. I don't know. Mm. I could put this on auto running the lengthways on the other side. I don't know how he's going to go going with those trees down the end. I suppose we just put it on and see if he stops well short, well we can just come back and do it by hand. Hopefully it won't be dark like last time. We've almost got a load. This holds 30, 30 tonne or 30,000 litres. Get around here, we'll set him off and we'll go and get ourselves a trailer. Hopefully the tractor's finished doing the spraying, otherwise we could just use the one that's um, hooked up to the mower that we haven't really had a chance to use much more of. We'll get this out a bit wider so it doesn't miss any. And we'll hit auto and see what happens. Okay. We're on our horse. Might as well ride him over here. Yeah. Is there first person on horses? No. <laughs> He's not. Jump off. Jump in. Fold up the spray up. Well, this worked well. More than happy with this. I don't usually use much um, liquid fertiliser. I think I've said it before. I'm always a solid fertiliser, man. I don't know why. There's no reason for it. I think it's because you can do lime and solid fertiliser in the one, the one wagon, like the one cart. Oh, we don't have a big trailer. I was going to say, we'll get that big flegal trailer, but we don't own it. <laughs> Sucked in. Oh, well, well, this one here holds 20-something. It's going to have to do. we have to do a few more trips. I was actually thinking about um, like getting a bigger trailer. Just I almost thought of a, a truck and trailer set up. Maybe not yet, but... Just when you're doing those contracts like that sugar beet contract, if you had a 300, 300 tonne trailer, you could do with the whole contract almost in one go, I reckon. Anyway, I'll see you down there.
Okay, so here we are, viewers. It didn't get far from where we actually turned it around. 70% on our contract. I'm going to get a fair bit out of this. I don't know if it's going to be enough to cover the price of the machine, but um, we need it for the pigs, so... I wonder if we could be sneaky enough to... Uh, bold enough to... Um, maybe there'd be a sugar bed contract we could do while we've got this leased. <laughs> That'd be good thinking. 22,800. Gonna have a few trips here. Don't think the fence the same horsepower as the John Deere's. Wouldn't go as far as saying this is struggling, but it's the fence. It's not far back to the farm. I wonder how much a TARDIS trailer is. I don't think they're much. I was just trying to get away from buying the same thing all the time. I love this rolling stuff, it's good stuff. Looks like good quality stuff. Usually we're doing stuff from scratch and we've got no money so everything's cheap. And there's some pretty good mods that are cheap. That have ridiculous capacities and that even though they only cost like 15, 20 thousand. Plus we've got two rolling trailers, we might go the whole set. No, eh? wouldn't that be something? If you like the song, it'll be keep rolling, 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 yeah. We'll keep rolling and then, and then. Yeah, from past experience on Silver Run Forest, I know that for around about 25k we can buy a pig food mixer that takes uh, sugar beet potatoes and chaff, or chaff, I call it chaff, I know there's no R in it, but it's always been chaff. When I was a kid I used to feed a couple of horses on a farm and uh, they ate chaff, they didn't eat chaff. I'm going to keep running this back, keep an eye on me, um, me guy on the plough and I'll get this field done and then we'll decide where we're going to go next. So here we are viewers, we're just um, finishing off the ploughing contract and then we'll take our equipment back home, we'll finish off the sugar beet, I've done two loads already so I'm going to get a fair bit out of it and um, then I did have a look, there's two contracts but they're both for sunflowers so we can't use our hired sugar beet <laughs> harvester to do any more but that's okay it's not a bad machine actually for the price, you know, you pay about 330 for it complete that's um, fairly cheap so I'll take this home and see you next time when we've done that so here we are viewers, we're um, just about to unload this, which, do we have to do something? Yes we do, and this is this field done, as you can see I'm a clever dick and I've managed to hook up my other little trailer to the back of this one, and get us 30,000 per load, not 22. So that's worked out good. And I think I'd, I'll just do those, clear up those edges and I'll send this machine back before it costs us any more money. And then we'll be on our 
way to do whatever's next, whatever that is. I'm thinking maybe some olives. Then again, I was thinking maybe instead of buying all this machinery, I could, um... grow potatoes and parsnips or t sugar beets in a greenhouse. I don't know if it'd keep it up, but if we'd get enough. But anyway, that's you know, something to think about. We might put in a greenhouse and see how it produces. bit there done. That little bit there done. Just do down along the front. Out. Won't get our leaf speed back if we ding it. Hey, eh? what a clever dig. Okay. Now, before we send this back, I'm just going to check those contracts one more time just in case. Harvesting sunflowers, ploughing, 41,000 to plough. Gee, that must be that whopping big one. We could do that, can we? Oh, look, I've got one I've completed too. I'm going to accept that contract. Yeah, we don't have to plough our stuff today. Let's send this back from the lease. Uh, send you back. Send you back. Take this over and empty it out. Now we did have 130, so we're probably going to have about 150, 160,000. Which is pretty good. We've got our nice new little field. It's only small, but hey, that's alright. Worst comes to worst, we could make this, boil this down along the left hand side there and make it a huge industrial estate. Put in ice cream factories, vineyard, grape squishing plants, and, oh, a spinnery. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Anyway, I'll drop this off and I'll meet you down at field 34 with the plough. So while we're waiting for that huge contract on field 34 to finish, I thought we might put in some olives. Why not? And also, well, they look good, olives and grapes. And we'll head down over here. Oh, on top of the roof. We'll go out of build mode might be this, yeah. What do these need? Olives. What water? Seed line manure. Seed line fertilizer. Long on seed line. 
Lime's going to be a big thing on this map. And there's nowhere to get lime. Mm. Don't have to keep buying it. Here's our manure pit. Over here. Mm, not much in there. That's Ruby. She thinks she's a cow. I could just run them on water for the time burn. Could I get some more lime? Luckily we only have to lime our crops every couple of days. Every couple of times, sorry. I think it's every third rotation. I'm thinking over here somewhere even down along here. Let's have a look at this. Uh, production, greenhouses. These ones here that grow everything. Well, they say they need lime too. It's small, medium, large, 10 grand. Oh, it is large. Just have to move. Try to put that down again. Gotta go to the last one and then come back. That's a trick there. If, if you go to something and you come back in like that, it didn't work. Just go to the one next door and come back. So that's 10 grand. Let's put it there. Let's see what this one needs. We've got a door to open here. So I'll press here. Uh, grain crops. Oil crops, root crops. Seed lime manure. Root crops water. 96. Yeah. We could just start them off on water. Now let's go check on this contract. Bloody horses. <laughs> Not far to go. I think it's worth 41,000 plus we've got another one, so we'll get 50 grand. Oh, while I was waiting for this to, um, while I was doing this, I ploughed, before I came here, I ploughed the field we just bought and got the sugar beet off, and um, I planted weed in it already. I was going to use the stone picker, but was four grand, three grand of rent, and then we had to, to lease, and then we had to drive it all the way there, and drive the stones back, and blah blah, just to make some lime. In hindsight, I probably should have done it, but um, I think I'll just have to buy my lime. Unfortunately, might need to put a forklift out the shop, because we just can't get the stones to make it. So we had a big field like this, but even they're only small stones, you know, I need the large ones. Anyway, I'll keep going with this and um, see how we go. That could be the end of this episode. I don't know. I haven't checked the time on it, but if it is, I'll catch you on the next one. If it's not, I'll see you shortly.